let's say that the existing document that you're working with needs to be sized to a different resolution than what the current size is. Uh, simply click image, image size, and it'll show you what the current resolution is. Uh, you'll notice that the current size here is 75.958 inches by 50.625 at a resolution of 72. And that's pretty large. Let's say that we actually want to use this photograph for a Facebook timeline header and we definitely need to scale it down. So first thing we're going to do is change the dimensions from inches to pixels and you can see what our pixel width and height is. And you'll remember from the previous video that the dimensions for the Facebook timeline cover is 851 and you'll notice that automatically it sizes the image to a height of 567 which is actually higher than what our height needs to be for our final version and if we wanted to actually adjust the image to the literal pixels here you'll notice we have this little chain if I click on that and turn it off then I can rescale the height independently of the width if I have it selected everything scales dynamically keeping the photograph in this case in direct proportion so if I choose 851 and click OK it'll scale the image down to the the actual size and then we can crop it to get to our final dimension height of 315 pixels now you also notice that the image has gotten a lot smaller on the screen and so the easiest way to zoom in on the image you have two options one is to actually come over to the toolbar and click on the zoom and just click zooming it in until you get it to the size that you want to work with which this is actually at a hundred percent right here the other option is if you're on a PC you can use control plus and minus if you're on a Mac you can use command plus or minus and by choosing those options it also allows you to zoom in or out now along with the scaling we also have an option you'll notice from before we imported other images and they're in tab form and let's say that we want to take this image of Dexter and combine it with our sunset picture here the easiest way to do that is to click our move tool left mouse click and drag this character onto the tab where we want him to go and then release it and it instantly moves him from the tab that he was on which he's still there it's just a copy but it moves it and places it into our image here. Now an alternative way of doing that is to copy and paste and I'll show you how to do that as well but before I do I want to point out that you'll notice that whenever I moved him into this document that over here in the layers pilot he is actually now on his own layer and the original is still here as the background file and Dexter was added to a layer above him and that happens by default okay so works very seamlessly and of course as I mentioned earlier you can also copy and paste you can use the the keystroke command of control or command a to select all then control or command C to copy and then come over to your document and use control or command V to paste and you get the same end result except that whenever the new file is pasted it's pasted centered as you can see here if I turn off the original one that we had dragged over into our document you'll notice that whenever I pasted it it pasted it absolutely centered now you actually whenever you're pasting an image into an existing document you can actually control where it's positioning will paste into using a little trick and I'll just show you this trick since we're talking about this if you choose the rectangular marquee tool and let me actually delete this guy here I'm just gonna click the trash can and so that'll delete the layer yes I want to delete 
Now, I'm going to, with the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to draw just a little box. It doesn't have to be any particular size. I'm just going to put it down here in, in the lower left-hand corner. And so this selection is here. There's nothing in it. You notice that there's no new layers or anything like that. But what happens is that now whenever I choose Paste, Control-V, or you can access uh, Copy and Paste from the Edit menu, you'll see Copy and Paste are right here. Okay, but when I hit uh, Control or Command V now, the what will happen is the rectangular marquee selection will control where the image will paste. Watch. So now the image pastes centered on the selection that I had selected. And of course the selection that was made vanishes whenever the document pastes. And it also still pastes it into its own layer. So you can actually have some control over where your document pastes if you need that control. But by default, it will paste to the absolute center of the existing image that you're pasting into.